Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the top 10 Android apps of May for 2023. Guys, I am so hyped that we finally crossed that milestone of 50,000 subscribers. It's literally mind blowing. I mean, a lot of the time I wake up in the morning, I just <laughs> go back in the studio app just to check, refresh, make sure I'm still there. But today we're gonna be taking a look at some pretty sweet apps on my Pixel 6a. I just posted a video about the Pixel 6a in 2023. So if you do wanna check that out, then it's on my channel. But yeah, let's just start it off with app number one, which is notification widgets. I don't know about you guys, but a lot of the time I miss notifications. Like I just feel like there's so many, I'm bombarded all the time and, and I miss out on like DMs and messages all the time. And people always think I'm like neglecting them or ignoring them, but I'm really not. I'm just, I just don't see their notification. This app allows you to put a widget on your home screen that connects to an app of your choice so you can view all the notifications coming in. So you're not gonna miss any more notifications because you're gonna have that widget on your home screen. So there's no more excuse for ignoring people messaging you. So you can go ahead and choose which app you want here. So you could choose any app you want, whichever one you wanna be notified about. And then you can choose between a circular design or this kind of boxy design. And you have some colors in here. So it implements the Material U color theming, which is super nice. You also have the analog clock and digital clock, which is kind of the same theme as on the Pixel, but it gives you a little bit more control because you can match it to the color on your home screen. You also have these music widgets. These are super cool. So the now playing one is my favorite. On the Pixel, you have this feature, like a now playing feature. So whenever there's music playing in the room around you, the phone's gonna pick it up and it will display on your always on screen. But what about when you're using your device? So I actually have a sliding dock because I'm using Nova Launcher and I've put the widget right here so it will always listen in my room for music playing and then it will go ahead and pop up there. And when I click it, I can quickly get access to my history, my now playing history. If you're curious why it's completely blank, it's because my Pixel actually factory reset. I'm running Android 14 and there was like some crazy bug and ended up resetting my phone. So I had to reinstall everything. And that's why this video is taking a little bit longer than usual, which was such a nightmare. At number two is Taco Taco. This is an icon pack. There's 944 icons in here and they have this very pastel flat design. I, I really like them. The colors are nice. I'm using them on my home screen right now. So they're just, very minimal, very just plain, but I really like them. There's something really clean about them and I just felt like jazzing up my device a bit. So uh, yeah, that's my app icon pack of choice for May. And then app number three on the list is Grad for KWGT. So this is an add-on. I'm actually using it to get this clock effect on my home screen right here. So I like this. It kind of looks like the clock is kind of popping out from behind the wallpaper through that little slip right there. So. Grad is an add-on which you can get. You need KWGT Pro in order to actually make use of it. But there's some really cool widgets in here. The majority of them are kind of to do with like your clock, your calendar, stuff like that, even like the weather. Some of them actually look a little bit like iOS inspired. So you have kind of the, a similar shape to the widgets on the iPhone. App number four is called Powerline. And this is a status bar indicator. So. You've all seen it before probably with the battery percentage where you kind of have that bar across the top of your phone, but this takes it to the next level. So you can go in here and you can add various indicators which will be displayed using that bar across the top of your phone. So it could be like your battery capacity, whether you've got any battery drain, your RAM usage, it could even be your charging speed, which is pretty cool. But the best bit is there's so many customization options. You can change the positioning, the color, the gradient, the thickness. If you have a notch on your phone or a cutout, you can make it go around that. There is just a lot of customization here, but I just really like the way it looks. I like to see my processor usage. So if I install an app and it suddenly goes up, I know not to use the app because it's gonna kill my battery life. App number five is called Black Hole. I feel like this is gonna be one of the favorites of this video. It's a music streaming app, but it also allows you to listen to your local files mixed in with the ones you're streaming online. So there's this combined section, which is the home feed, and then you have a dedicated section to listen to your YouTube music. You don't need an account whatsoever. It's completely free to listen to YouTube music and there's no ads in here, which is kind of crazy. You also have a Spotify chart section, so you can actually see what songs are popular around the world or in your region. And this home feed section, it allows you to create playlists with local files as well as those on YouTube Music, which is pretty cool. And it allows you to download the files as well. So if you have any YouTube Music playlists, you can download them on here, listen to them ad-free. 
And then you have a lot of customization options. So you can completely customize the way the app looks in terms of the app UI, as well as the colors. It's just a great media playback app. So go check it out. App number six is called Permission Pilot. So I feel like app permissions are getting a little bit complicated on Android because they've introduced a lot more features. And so Permission Pilot allows you to just overview all the permissions for all the apps installed on your device. So you can quickly scroll through this list and just see which apps have access to what, which is really nice. You can individually click on one of the apps within the list and it will show you a full breakdown of all the permissions they have access to on your device. So for Black Hole, I can see they have access to run in the foreground, they have access to my network, as well as preventing my phone from sleeping and my storage options. And you can use this app to actually opt out and just turn off some of the permissions. So really fast way of just seeing the permissions as well as changing them. App number seven on the list is called Sleep Wave. So I'm one of those guys that just doesn't like abrupt, loud, annoying alarm sounds in the morning. And you may be thinking, well, how else would an alarm work? Well, Sleep Wave it actually tracks your sleeping habit. It works out when you're not in deep sleep by using ultrasonic sound, and then it gradually wakes you up. So if you set the time that you wanna wake up between seven and 7.15, it will gradually play music louder and louder, and it's like a relaxing, nice sound, and it will play it so that you're not in deep sleep. So you're gonna wake up and you're not gonna feel terrible in the morning. There is a pro version, so you can fully dive in and see all the metrics and all the data about your sleeping habits, but the free version is good enough. And honestly, it's actually helped me feel a lot better in the morning. App number eight is called Pika Show, and this allows you to have a custom animation whenever you connect your charging cable to your device. So it's free, there is a free zone, so you can choose from all these different free graphics, or there is pro ones, but personally for me, I really like this car one right here. I've got it set so it only pops up on the lock screen because I might be doing something on my device and when I connect my power bank, I don't want this animation to pop up when I'm actually using my phone. App number nine is Voice Recorder, and this is one of the very few voice recorders that is pretty comparable to the Google one. I really like the one on the Pixel. It's great at transcribing, and I love the interface. And this app does a fairly good job for anyone out there who doesn't have a Pixel. So it allows you to record your audio files in here. Pretty standard stuff, there is some ads. A really nice feature is it allows you to record outside the app so you can read off of like a website or go through a PowerPoint and actually record yourself talking. The best thing for sure is that it actually transcribes everything you say. So you don't have to go ahead and create your own caption and type it up. It will automatically generate it and it can be super handy. And the last app is One for Wall. So this is an interesting wallpaper app. This is an app which has AI generated wallpapers, which really caught my attention because you know, AI is kind of, kicking off, it's picking up. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on right now. And the biggest one is it's kind of taking away some, some jobs for graphic designers and artists. And you know, it can be worrying, but at the same time, super interesting. And so just going through this app, it's really fascinating to see like how creative AI can really be. Some of these wallpapers just look great. Like look at this mountain view one. Resolution is super high. You can view the color palette of all the colors inside of the wallpaper. And you can go ahead and actually download it onto your device. So you can actually export it to your gallery, which is just, why doesn't every wallpaper app do that? Like obviously for copyright reasons, but it's such a nice feature to have. So yeah, if you're looking for some great wallpapers and you're curious what AI can truly do in terms of like artwork, then yeah, one for wall is super cool to check out. But if you wanna see something that was actually made by a real person, you can check out my wallpaper pack, link will be down below. Boom, so we're now done. Let me know what you guys think down below about some of the app recommendations from me. If you have any apps that you wanna show off to people or even apps that you want me to know about, then just let me know down in the comment section. I would be happy to take a look. Who doesn't like checking out new applications? And remember guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out, it helps support me. And if you really like my content, then you're gonna see it a lot more often if you hit subscribe. I actually have some pretty cool content lined up, like some pretty cool battery packs to show off by Shargeek. I've got a new keyboard, a new mechanical keyboard, which is just, which is sweet. I love the colors. It has these purple keys and it's just buttery smooth to type on. I'm gonna go ahead and review the switches within the video as well. I've got two different switches to choose from, but I just love mechanical keyboards. There's something just super satisfying about them. So yeah, stick around for all that content and I will see you guys soon. Peace.